Reverend Mark. I told you I never want to have children in the first place, Regina. Well, Mark, she's here. It's been six years now. You're just going to walk out of her life and abandon her like that? How do you think that's going to affect her? I'm leaving. You said you wanted a child, and I gave you one. My job is done. Mark, you're pitiful. But it's okay. Drew will be just fine. my book bag. Oh, okay, well, yes. Grab your bag. Okay. Drew! Let's go, honey! I don't want to have you guys late for school. Oh, today's Friday. You're forgetting his bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks, honey. Eli, do not forget to get your book bag from out the office after school. You're going okay. to your dad's house. Okay, mommy. Just a little creep forget his bag like he always does. Stop teasing me! Mm. Drew, I told you to stop calling your little brother names. What's gotten into you lately? Maybe Alana shouldn't be here this weekend. No! Apologize right now. Sorry, Eli. Come on, let's go. We're going to be late for school. the best game, Rio. Uh, but what about Preston? Uh, okay. Hey girls, you want pizza for dinner? Mm, yeah, yeah, sure. Be ready in five minutes. Mom, can we stay here while you leave? Well, that's fine. I'm only gonna be to the store 20 minutes max. Do not open the door for anyone while I'm gone. Okay, we won't. Okay, girls. What it makes life? Yeah, but when my mom leaves, Have you seen my denim jacket? The last time I saw it, Eli was playing superheroes with it. <sighs> the boy's always in my stuff playing superheroes. I'll be right back, girl. I'll get the slime and you get the glitter glue, okay? All right. What color do you want? I'll be right back. I'm going to go see my mom left. You can't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you, but I've been taking my mom's stuff, destroying it, and blaming it on Eli. That's really mean, Drew. Why are you doing that? I hate my little brother, and it annoys me that my mom and his dad acts like he's such an angel. Your mom treats you really nice, Drew. I'm sure your dad does too, right? I don't have a dad. Oh. But anyway, come on. Where are we going? You're gonna take some of Eli's favorite toys that his dad bought him and trash them. That's not cool, Drew. I'm not doing that. Fine, I'll do it myself then, scaredy cat. I'm not scared. I just don't do stuff like that. <sighs> Whatever. Come on. Eli goes to his dad's every other weekend and has fun while I'm at home bored. He gets new toys and I bet you this time he's gonna come home with new toys and McDonald's. Drew, that's not right. I don't want you to get in trouble. These two, these are his two favorite toys that his dad bought him. Take them. And go see if my mom has arrived out the window over there. This is not right. Drew, have you ever talked to your mom about not having a dad? She does care, but she does care when Eli destroys her stuff. Quick, grab the markers off the bench in my room. I'm gonna scribble in her journal.
heart. I love you. I'm gonna make my mom set up to his dad for good. Quick, stay me those scissors. No, get them yourself. <sighs> Whatever, just go look out the window, okay? <sighs> out there. Here. Come on. Here, take these, put this in the pan. I'm gonna go to start my mom and help me help. Go, go, go. Wash your hands, get a plate, and grab some pizza. Alana, I'll take you home when I wake up. Okay. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You want cheese or cheesesteak? Don't blame me if you get in trouble. I talk to my dad, you know. Drew, have you ever talked to your mom about not having a dad? She does care, but she does care when Eli destroys her stuff. Quick, grab a marker off the bench in my room. I'm gonna put more in her journal. Do you think she knows? I don't know, she might. Drew, come back down. Is there something you want to tell me? No. I know what you did today. And before you lie, there's a camera in my room that saw everything. I can't believe what I saw and heard today. I really want to beat the skin off of you right now. I'm sorry. But some of what you're dealing with is my fault. I should have asked you if your dad's absence was hurting you. I hate that Ela has a dad and I don't. It's not fair because he gets more love than me because he has you and his dad. True, honey. I love both of you equally. I'm so sorry your dad left when you were young. And I know it hurts. Do you think that the things I saw in the video makes me feel loved or your brother? No. I'm sorry, Mom. How about this? We're going to do more weekly family things. And we're going to do family talks about anything you both want. That way, no one's feelings is left unnoticed. Yes, I like that. Also, you and I are going to have more mommy and daughter out here. I'm sorry. I forgive you, but you're grounded for two weeks and no allowance for one month. Give me a hug and a kiss, little girl. Mm -hmm. I love you, Let's too, Let's make it a Julie. habit of checking in on our children more often. No matter how uncomfortable we may feel, how much denial, regret, shame we feel about the topic, Children who have absent parents, parents who are in and out, always on the road or even deceased, could be battling with lots of emotions and toxic thoughts. It is not the child's responsibility to learn how to express themselves at a young age. What Drew did in the film was a cry for help. Of course, she loved her brother and her mother, but seeing her brother come home with new toys, food, and getting love from mom and dad brought her total sadness. And how did she deal with those emotions? the best way she knew how. Parents, make it a habit of checking in on your children, talking to your children. These conversations can be very uncomfortable, but it's better to have them than to have a child that is suffering. 
Again, my name is Javonna Nicole. Thank you for watching my channel. Make sure you subscribe, click that like button, comment below, and tune in for our next film next week.